AEB, or Autonomous Emergency Braking, is set to become a vital piece of safety technology. These laser and radar systems either warn you that a collision is imminent or brake the car automatically if they think you're going to crash. Once the reserve of gadget-laden luxury limos, this technology is now available on all manner of vehicles, ranging from executive saloons to family hatchbacks and even cheap city cars. Since Volvo fitted auto braking as standard on their XC60 back in 2008, collisions have plummeted by an astonishing 27% when compared to other small SUVs. Now, Euro NCAP, the testing authority, was so impressed they've now included AEB as part of their new car assessment from 2014 and claim it could save up to 8,000 lives a year. Safety research company Thatcham are going to help me test these systems to see how well they work. I'll be driving head-on at their specially designed inflatable dummy car. This target here is very complex. Inside it's got the structure of a real car, it's got reflectivity, the sort of parts that actually reflect on a real car, and to the systems it looks like a real car, but it's soft. So when you hit it, you don't damage you and you don't damage the test car. It's actually quite solid. No, do, it will give. It, the vehicle will sense it and brake, but if you do hit it, if you, it won't no, hurt. Are you sure? Yeah, quite sure, really. First, I'll perform the urban test, designed to replicate a traffic situation where a driver hasn't realised the car in front has stopped. I'll drive each car at the stationary dummy and see if they can stop me from crashing. The system on the up is called City Emergency Braking and is available as an option for £225. It only works up to 18 miles an hour and uses two lasers to scan the road ahead. It allows the car to see objects up to 10 metres ahead. At 7 metres from an object, it'll prime the brakes for you and when you get really close, it should apply the brakes. So I stick to 18 miles an hour. You're looking for that party. 54, 52, 50, where's the... <sighs> the AEB has just saved me from a big rear end. That could have been more than £4,000 worth of damage and possibly an expensive whiplash injury, all saved by some very simple technology. Amazing, isn't it? I'm impressed. As well as a city braking system that's identical to the one in the UP, our Volvo V40 is equipped with a 1,850 pound collision warning extra. It uses a radar to continuously scan the road and a camera which can determine whether an incoming object is another vehicle or just part of the scenery. And apparently we can now approach this stationary object at 28 miles an hour and it'll stop and I'm looking straight at it and it's, I can't believe this is going to work. <laughs> that is amazing. I was convinced we were going to crash. Shut up. Thank you. I cannot believe that that stopped so quickly, so late. So it comes in very late to stop you relying on the system, but that would have been quite a severe crash. The airbags would have been deployed. The vehicle probably wouldn't have been repairable and you might have been injured. Next, I'll test the Mercedes S-Class, which has a £2,000 auto braking system called Distronic Plus. This uses three radars, one in the centre grille and two behind the front bumper to scan the road ahead. So the question is, are three radar detectors better than one radar and one camera? 28 miles an hour. Is it? Stop, please stop. I think we just crashed. The Volvo managed to stop at 28 miles an hour, but the Mercedes didn't. In fact, the experts tell us that the fastest speed the Merck system works at in other tests they've conducted towards a static target is 15 miles an hour. Perhaps it'll fare better in the moving target test. This time the dummy car is towed by a 4x4 driven by a robot, ensuring it maintains a constant speed of 25 miles an hour. It's designed to simulate a car in front of you suddenly slowing down without you realising it, possibly because you're dialing in your sat-nav or tuning into another radio station. 
The UPS auto brake only works at city speeds, so it will sit this test out. Mercedes and Volvo claim that their systems will cope at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. Run 1 will be at 50 miles an hour, and I'll start in the Merc. Its radar can detect objects 200 metres away. So now if I'm wafting along a dual carriageway at 50 miles an hour, thinking about my sat nav and where am I going next? Is it London or where? I'm starting to catch something. It then just neatly slows me down and I can overtake and carry along safely on my way. Can the Volvo do the same? Great, I haven't touched a pedal. So what happens if we increase the speed to 55 miles an hour? Yeah, that didn't work very well, did it? The Mercedes crashes. But at the same speed, oh. the Volvo doesn't. <laughs> it worked. Let's raise the bar. How about 60? As I launch the Volvo up to 60 miles an hour, we're catching this. The lights are all going, the lights are going. And... <laughs> the cars touch, but the heavy automatic braking greatly reduces the speed of the impact. Whoa! whoa. The Volvo also has a very effective way of warning the driver about an impending crash. Big red lights flash give me plenty of time to wake up, swerve and avoid. And that is much better than those quiet beats in the Mercedes. And I think if I had the radio on, I probably wouldn't have heard it at all. The Volvo has to be my favourite of the systems. But let's not forget that even when they didn't totally prevent a collision by braking hard, these systems can vastly reduce the severity of an accident. The technology works. So every time we see a new vehicle, we see an advance in the technology and an advance in the performance. But they're like £2,000 extra, whereas the little up for any £250 or whatever, you do get that basic system that, that works incredibly well. Yeah, and by about 2014, when Euro ANCAP are doing regular testing, systems like this and this will be standard on these vehicles.